Hello everyone, it's the DJ Bunting here, or better known as Unstoppable Deadman from EVE Online. I've got a bit of a different video for you guys today. Today we're doing a sponsored video thanks to the wonderful devs at Camille Games on a game you may have guessed is Infinite Galaxy. They are sponsoring this video so I can give my first impressions, have a look about the game and of course show it off to you guys. So what is Infinite Galaxy? Infinite Galaxy is a strategy-like mobile game. It's for Android and iOS, but of course you can play on the emulator, which is what I'm doing right here. And it's a game that places you in a galaxy, go figure, and uh, you're surrounded by other players, resources, enemies, NPCs that you can fight, uh, asteroids that you can mine, planets that you can control, and of course, the most interesting thing to me, systems that you can control as an alliance. Now this game features some RTS combat, which is what you're seeing on screen right now, but it's also got some auto battles, it's got a lot of base building which we'll get into later, and it's one of those games that you play over the course of months. There's no rush to finish the game, there's no way to finish the game instantly. It's one where you for example, set a build queue and it takes up to three hours for something to finish. And when it does, you have a new class of ship unlocked or a new weapon or a whole new array of things to build. It's one of those progression type games. And today I've got for you the first couple days of me playing the game. Just some edited clips here and there. I will probably upload another video of the highest quality version of their intro, which is a essentially a tutorial, but it's a little bit cinematic. You get some big space fights here and there. So I'll be showing that off in another video. But today I'm just gonna be showing off the basics of the game and uh, what I like about it. Now what the devs have asked me to do is actually make an alliance in the game. And I think that's wonderful. And so when the new server pops up, Probably by the time this video is out, server 54, or as the game likes to call it, Nebula 54. We're going to be joining that, we're going to be making a new alliance. Hopefully I'll have it on screen right now so you can see the name of the alliance and my in-game name. And uh, we'll be uh, looking to make a big alliance on this server and take, uh, which I'll show off later, some solve. So that's going to be interesting. We get to kind of manipulate the map and take over parts of space I think that's going to be great um, so if you do want to join us there's a link in the description click on that link on whatever mobile device you want to use uh, some emulators work with it if it doesn't work it's not a problem you can just search infinite galaxy the main thing is getting onto our server so I'll quickly show that off so when you start this game uh, you're put into a tutorial and once you're kind of through the tutorial you can uh, look into these options here in the options uh, or in the galaxy view you can actually change your local galaxy now you can only do this if you're below level 8 and you've played for less than 3 days which I'm sure most of you will be by the time you finish the tutorial which is pretty fast um, so yeah, what you do is you click on this local map and then you're able to see a big server list and you should be able to see probably one of the newest ones here if you're looking at the video fairly recently. You want to join Nebula 54 and once you do join Nebula 54 you'll be teleported somewhere there. Now what happens when you do teleport, I'm not quite sure because uh, I'm recording this before I've actually done it. Uh, the server's not actually up for me just yet. But, when it is up, I will be teleporting. And it, it, it doesn't really matter where you end up on the server to start with, because you have another teleport, which lets you teleport to your alliance members. So, when you do join the alliance, you'll be able to teleport right next to us, and uh, we'll start building an alliance, and see where this game goes. Now, when you do join the alliance, one of the best things about this being a sponsored video, is we have a promotion code to give out. This promotion code is going to give us a little bit of a head start here. So, when you do join the Alliance, somewhere in the Alliance messages will be a code which you can put into the game 
to redeem some extra goodies from the devs. Okay, that's enough stalling, let's show off the actual game. So what I've got here is me logging in on my second day. I'll of course upload the video of my first day playing and the first maybe 10-20 minutes of gameplay where uh, there's some cinematic scenes and whatnot. But for now, I'm showing off the command center or what's it called? Spaceport, sorry. Um, and, and the spaceport is kind of, uh, this is your castle, this is uh, where all your buildings are and whatnot. So we'll start here, we've got the command center here. Command so in the command center you get a beautiful view, look at that, that's amazing, of uh, your spaceport and all the modifications you've got on it. Now I've upgraded stuff to about level 6, there's some stuff like this dispatch center that hasn't been upgraded yet. Um, because I don't have the materials or whatever, but uh, yeah, uh, this is the space center, um, and these are the things that you can add to that. Uh, so down here, like I can right now upgrade my embassy, and this embassy, if I were to upgrade it, it gives me one thousand two hundred extra allies gar garrisoned, um, which is, I imagine, when you are engaged in PvP. You can get allies to come and help you. Um, that's my my guess for that anyway. Fleet leadership. That's how many I can put in a fleet, I imagine. And then we've got stuff like the military dock, which increases your your build speeds. And uh, actually, if we were to go back here, we can actually go into the military dock over here, which is called the ship building. Ship building. And we can actually see if we get the docks to level 10, we get a third slot to start and build, start building things. I've already got it to level 5, so I've got two slots right here. Now let's go back just a second. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So uh, this is our spaceport. You can upgrade one thing at a time, or if you were to purchase the additional build Command queue, center. you can get a second building going. For now, Let's just see what happens if I try and upgrade my military headquarters. So you can see here you've got a choice to upgrade with premium currency or just normal over time. Um, now this build time is actually quite low, I think below 3 minutes, that means you get it for free, you can instantly upgrade for free. But just uh, to show it off, I'll, I'll click get for upgrade free complete. and that instantly upgrades that right there. But then we can go back and we can look for something that we don't quite have the credits for. Now you can see here it costs Tritanium and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that word. But this is going to take 16 minutes and we can't skip that for free. So we're just going to click that Upgrade. and that gets added to our build queue. You see that counting down now and if we were to click back we can see 16 minutes on that timer right there and you can actually see the space station upgrading itself. Look at that. I think that's really good. Now I've of course got the game on the highest settings possible. Um, and it just looks stunning. So we're going to go back here. You've got your crew. Now this is something I'll be looking into in future videos so I'm not going to spoil too much. But uh, just to give a quick overview. <laughs> we've got our crewmates here. I've only got the two from the tutorial. Uh, you can see that she's on tech, and this guy is kind of um, more on logistics, but he's a lot weaker. He's a, I think uh, he's like a very common. I forget the name, and she's an epic. So you can see that in the purple in the name. True. So if we go back, we can go to recruit crew, and we've got these things that you uh, you you can pretty much get one a day. It's pretty reliable from what I've seen. You can recruit a new crew member, so let's just go and do that just for a bit of fun. Oh, there we go, we got some XP, crew training XP, so what that's actually for. So if we go back here into our crew, we can click on Helen here, and we can actually, oops, we can actually cut this, this plus, and we can actually contribute to our XP with that XP card, and that gives 80 XP, only need 10 for the next level, so that's going to level up quite a bit. True. 
Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you the crew formation. Now this is touched on in the tutorial, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'll let you get a grasp on it from the tutorial. But you can select crewmates to put in your slots here. And you can uh, essentially buff up your defences uh, based on their stats. Now I've got four crew slots, but I've only got two crew members. That's why it says no standby crew. So that's... Uh, that's why you have to use this feature here to hopefully get another crew member. Didn't quite get it, uh, but we got some shards now. From my understanding, these shards they go together and eventually build a crew member. I think we might be able to see it if we can find a person in here. There he is. So we've got four of twenty. So I imagine once we reach twenty, we're able to create this character, and that'll be good for the crew. Now let's go back a bit here, back to our spaceport, and we'll see right above crew is research. research. And in research, you get four main branches of research, resources, development, military, and command. Now we've got some recommended texts down here, which of course are very, very good ones to, to get up. Military, you want to be ready for any PvP or of course the PvE which I'll show off in just a bit uh, later in the game. And then uh, we've got some to get some more uh, resources. So let's look at resources. resources to start with. So it's a pretty big tree and I'm pretty impressed with it. I haven't looked at all the details of it so far but if we go back to the start here we can see this one up here increases our gallery and speed for titanium and of course the other one does it for the other material we've got unlocked you'll see here i've just unlocked uh, planet titanium so that's going to be interesting to figure out and of course later on you get transport upgrades you unlock nickel steel which is another resource type which which you get access to later in the game for more advanced buildings and whatnot Anyway, let's look at development. development. In development, we've got, of course, increased construction speed. We've got increased research speed. Now, I'll take this opportunity to show something cool off. So, you see here, I've not got quite enough units. Um, quite enough titanium, sorry, to build uh, this research speed upgrade. It gives us 1% for a total of 6% when we upgrade this. And it's going to take about two and a half hours. Now, one thing that's cool about this game is when you are doing some quests and whatnot, the rewards you get aren't the materials directly into your um, spaceport, but rather these uh, containers which contain the materials so we see here that we're about 4k short of the 27.7 tritanium that it requires so we click this and we see that we'll probably only need a 5k crate we click that we go up 5k instantly now I know from my experience in war and order that this is an extremely good feature because what it allows is when you do engage in PvP, they steal resources from you. And there's going to be times that you're going to hit zero resources. Which is never good when you want to rebuild and get your defences back up. So in those situations, you'll be using those crates and uh, getting yourself back up and uh, defences back up and your, your fleet back up and ready to fight again. So anyway, I've got enough resources here now. So I'm just going to click research, and there we go. Now another cool thing, you don't have to use this premium currency to speed up. Throughout the game, while you're doing quests and whatnot, you get some free stuff along the way. So you see here, I've actually got 20 1 minute speed ups, 18 5 minute speed ups, 21 5 minute speed ups. Like it's, it's They're very generous in what they give you, so I could speed this up right now if I wanted to. But I, I don't really want to do that, I just want to let it wait throughout the day because this is one thing I love about these games is there's no rush. Other than when you get to the late game PvP, but uh, right now there's no rush and I'm okay to wait the two and a half hours and save my speed ups for maybe some more important things down the line. You see here that the 
requires it tells you I require the research cloud computing uh, research center of level 8 and uh, the, all these other res researches here which I don't quite have which are these two now let's look at military, military. we've got the basic military things that you'd expect which is damage get some more power in there and that's for each type so you've got your frigates you've got your destroyers and then of course you've got cruisers and then you the next stage here that I've got to unlock is the next uh, tier of upgrade and then we go on to this which lets us put another expedition in and then we're increasing our HP and so on so forth pretty extensive and you can see how over time you're just gonna get stronger and stronger that's why we're wanting to start in a fresh server but don't worry if you're starting a bit late we'll help you out so then we're going to click here in command and this is one I haven't touched yet because it's more um, later game stuff and I don't quite have the materials and the research required for it but uh, yeah you see here it increases our leadership by a hundred and we're going to go back out of research so that's pretty good I, I like the research cues there they're simple but extensive so I, I look forward to progressing through the game to get all of those now we're turning to the left here on the screen and we've got the repair center now this is shown off in the tutorial of course I don't have anything to repair just now because I'm a god gamer just kidding but uh, we don't have anything to repair just now but in the tutorial you will learn about repairing your flagship which we'll get to later so this is the ship building which I kind of showed you a little bit earlier once again you get a nice lovely 3d view of whatever ships you're looking at so this is our Kraken destroyer but if we click here we get the Phoenix class the cruiser and if we click here we of course get these little frigates which look great in our space dock so you can build some of these I don't quite have the resources once again I need to go out mining so let's actually do that for a bit a uh, defense platform that requires a research which I've not quite got yet but let's do some mining so we're going to click on our star system to see our local star system and then you can actually see someone sending the fleet right there you can look at their fleet details they're carrying some resources so they've just went to mine something so what we're low on is pretty much everything but we're lower on this resource here titanium so we're going to click this this is our scanner and the scanner what, what it's going to do it's going to give us some options for things we can look for. We're looking for Tritanium and we may as well go to the level 2 and it's going to show us the closest level 2 Tritanium on this local map here. Now, I think that's a great feature of course, it means you don't have to go scrolling about trying to find everything and you can kind of quickly find what you need. So we'll go back up here to our level 2 Tritanium Steel Asteroid. We're just going to hit gather. Now I've only got one fleet for now but we're going to send it out. It's going to take 18 seconds to get there. <coughs> and it's going to carry 30,000 uh, resources. And you can see it's leadership Bye. right there. So now my fleet is on the move. You see it right there. You can zoom in a little bit if we wanted to. It's got a nice little escort from all the ships we've been building. <clears throat> and once once it does reach the asteroid, it, it's going to take a, a one hour, a hundred, one hour and ten minutes round about to completely fill our hold, uh, which was about thirty thousand, right? And you you could see earlier that this. Uh, Asteroid actually has more than 30,000. You can actually see that counting down. You can see how much you've gathered so far. You can even see your gather speed, which I think is super cool. And we scroll down here, we can see a bit more details of what we've got and how much they're carrying, how much power it's given us. So we're going to show off more of the map in just a second. But for now, we're going to go back to our spaceport and show off what's to the right. Now I know more stuff unlocks later in the game, which I'm sure I'll show off in a later video. 
But for now we're going to show off flagship. our flagship. Now this is your main ship in the game. Right now I've got an epic class. Hercules it's called. You can see it's, it's stats right here. You can see I've already equipped a gun to it. You get that from the tutorial. And uh, yeah, this is... Uh, I don't have a captain to put on it just yet. You unlock that at chapter 20 it says. So I'm excited to get to that point. You can see that it's already deployed and you might have already spotted you can actually build an additional flagship. So yeah, you can have multiple fleets out. So we'll click this and we'll kind of have a quick look here. We're not quite ready to build another one. First, we don't have the resources, but also you see again this kind of shard mechanic where I've only got 20 of the 50 shards. Now if I continue to log in daily, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to get this in no time. Or, better yet, I do the quests, the story campaign quests. So that's what it was referring to when it's saying what we need chapter 20. Or up here, if I click this, it requires chapter 11. So you can actually see the quest I'm on is join an alliance. Now I'm not quite ready to join an alliance as we were talking about earlier. We're going to uh, be making our own in the new server, so I'm leaving that for, for later. But here's another view of all the alliances that are currently available in this server. We're going to hit back, and we're going to, now that we're finished here, actually we've got events to look at. We'll take a look at that. So you see here, the devs have actually mapped out all the events that happen in the game. You've got the Hunt and Arrow event. Um, you've got the alien spirit event which all it requires you is to do some PvE and you get some of these rewards. <coughs> We've got the Starfield Pioneer event which is it's just upgrading your um, base and uh, getting your command center up. So you see I'm going to get another one of these. Actually this gives us our next uh, flagship. All I need to do is get to level 7 command center, so that's exciting. So this is a new event that's just been added, Galaxy Star. Let's have a look at the video for that. To face the Empire at this starts in a few days. The top rebel forces. If you have the most advanced spaceport in the galaxy, you can provide a vast amount of invincible fleet. And have the top mining abilities, so that no space pirates can escape from your hands. You already have enough strength as the strongest power in the galaxy to destroy the Empire. You are the strongest commander in the galaxy and the vanguard power to fight the Empire. We need you. Isn't that exciting? So no cool cutscenes. You can see this unlocks in one day and 14 hours. That's pretty exciting. And then we've got the Space Academy now, this is what I'm working for. You just have to gather some resources and then it gives you some more bonuses, so that's great because you'll be doing that anyway. So it's just some extra passive things to get over time. Let's watch the video for that. Commander, welcome to the Space Academy. The new Federation has already prepared missions for us. You will learn what you need to know for growth and development from these missions. Explore space, gather resources, and train fleets. The most outstanding talent in the entire galaxy will respond to your calling and fight alongside you. The future of the galaxy is for you to decide. Good luck, Commander. Great stuff. Now quickly before this video ends, I'm going to show off the galaxy map. Now this is where we can see our solar system right here, our connected ones, and we can actually go and scout some extra solar systems to figure out what's there, get some resources, etc, etc. Um, but for now, uh, I'm going to show you probably one of my favorite things. You can actually already see someone has took some solve here. I'm right on the edge of it. And we're going to zoom out and we're going to see just how big this map is. So we're in this tiny little corner, but the map is this big. I think that's great. So I, I'm, I really like these kind of maps in games. You can even filter. Uh, so this is like 
how rich the space is. So we're not in very rich space. We'll hopefully try and move here, here in the future. Uh, but for now, we're down in this starting zone. Actually, my goal is to take the north. That would be pretty good in our new server. I'd quite like to do that. Anyway, we're going to... You can kind of see this, the Imperial cities obviously in the center. I imagine that's the end game to reach there and fight in there. Um, you can see your position, your alliance leader, which uh, I'm sure you'll be able to see when you join my alliance. You can see there's some fortresses here. You can see stargates and uh, whatnot. So we've actually just finished exploring, so I'm just going to quickly show this off. So we got some stuff from exploring that. We got XP, we got Tritanium Steel. Uh, close that, we can go to the events and we can actually see where our little probe is at. We can get some more things from exploring that. We're just exploring more and more stuff, which I think is great. So we've got 20, I think that said 20, let's actually go back there. 29 out of 30 investigation energy so I can keep sending my probe about to go and explore more systems and get more resources for me. So I'm going to tell it to go here and eventually it will reach and it will give me even more resources which is fantastic. So we're going to come out of this, go back to our spaceport and we're going to close off this video. So in conclusion I think this game is a great pickup. It has an insane amount of depth to it. I've barely scraped the surface with this video. There's PvP, ship fittings, formations, crew buffs, station cores, which is an insane tech tree that you build up over time, which I'll show off in another video. Alliance buffs and just so much more that I'll hopefully be able to show off in more videos. If you are interested in playing with us, the most important thing to do is to join our Discord. You'll find us chatting about the game and organising the alliance in there. The most important thing in game is to be in Nebula 54. From there you should be able to find us with the alliance name that will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. It really genuinely means a lot uh, if you've made it this far. Thanks for supporting me and the channel. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.